What's going on everybody? I've been mowing with the Luba now for about three months and I haven't changed the blades. In fact, I've only really rinsed it out one or two times. So today we're gonna to be changing the blades and getting things cut in a whole lot better. Just got back from vacation a couple days ago while it kept everything looking nice and cut. I am noticing a decrease in how well it's cutting. So we're gonna fix that with the blade replacement kit. Oh geez, a little dark in here and honestly kind of messy. We had an emergency and I needed some gas. We completely ran out of fuel. Okay, got the blade replacement kit now in hand. Gotta figure out what size tool it needs, but this little kit's pretty awesome. Basic razor blades, but it comes with new uh, bolts and washers. So super duper helpful with that. Always good to replace fastening hardware when you need to. So we have the Luba moved over next to the hose. We're gonna clean it out first before we replace the blades and then a perfect time to show you how to properly clean this out. Um, but first I need to actually fix this hose. Prior, a couple weeks ago, I didn't have the safety features on and I'd left the hose out where I was doing some watering for kind of a dry area and the mower ran over it. Blades were still cut and didn't change the blades after the fact, but um, we need to fix the hose. And while I get this hose fixed is a perfect time to take a break and thank the sponsor of this video, Aura. Aura is an all-inclusive identity protection service. And one of the biggest problems I have is my personal data getting leaked to data brokers across the internet. And what I do for my real job, my information was everywhere. I receive anywhere between 20 to 50 unsolicited calls a day to both my work phone number and my cell phone number from people wanting to scam or sell me things. Aura scans the internet, scans these data brokers, and then acting on my behalf, submits requests to have my information removed from their system. It is very effective, and here's actually my account from my phone removing me from data brokers. It's removed me from 16 so far. And the craziest thing is, I can tell it's working. Being on vacation, I had, you know, I wasn't getting work notifications. However, I get normal phone calls and I didn't get a single call at all. Aura continually scans this, submits the removals, and they get removed. It's that simple. But that's not all. They also monitor all your email addresses that you enter in there for data breaches, including just the email getting linked, or more importantly, passwords being leaked. And that's really where they get you. And to help you reset these passwords, well, you get a password manager as well that allows you to create unique, secure passwords for every site or service that you use, and they're easily accessible in the password manager right there on your phone or desktop. Super cool. We have a link down below in the description. Get you two weeks free trial that will tell you everything, all where all your emails are, everything's leaked on the web and help you recover it. Fantastic service. I've been using it now for about five weeks and I am loving it. Click the link down below, check it out. And now let's get back to the Luba, get them fixed up and mowing good. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna hose this guy off. This is water resistant, it has a waterproof resistance rating of IPX6. That allows, you know, direct high pressure blasts of water to clean things off. Most other mowers are only IPX5, which is just kind of like, you can lightly rinse it off, but this, this guy can handle a little bit more. You want to hold it up like this. You do not want to have water this way. You just want it like this so it drains out. You don't want anything to have the potential to get down inside the motors. Like down in there. Because if it's like this, water can seep in. So we want it like this so it kind of rinses out. They should probably have a brush. We're just gonna give them a little hand bath. 
Here we go. Fingers to work down in there. Perfect, kind of. Okay, now with everything cleaned up, got our trusty joystick. Let's move them over to a more suitable area to work. Uh, there we go. I'll be replacing all the blades. I'm not gonna rotate them. You can see kind of here, there's been some chunks taken out from quite a lot of it. They're getting kind of nasty, so definitely do for replacement. This is a just a 2.5 millimeter hex key. We'll break them loose with this one. And then I have a screwdriver one that's kind of on the stripped outside. So this will get us going. then the washer, then the blade. We'll go ahead, we'll kind of clean that guy up, wipe him on the infected wound, make that look a little bit better. Okay, we have the blades removed. Now let's start getting things set up. We'll just put everything through with that. I'll go ahead and get that started. And the design of the screw kind of stops them to where it can go only so far to allow the blades to kind of flail. And we'll just repeat the exact same thing for this side and we'll be good to go. And for those with eagle eyes, you might notice those are different and that's kind of recessed a little bit. Yeah, rocking the height of cut kit. Okay, so we're gonna flip this bad boy back over. And one thing you don't wanna do, because I saw a video of someone saying, the reliability and the durability of this is crap is because he dropped it from like four feet in the air, three feet in the air and just slammed down. While this is robust and a beast, please be gentle. It's saving you from a lot of sweat. So definitely super hot out here. Forgot how hot it was because I've been having that guy do the majority of the work, but going back home for the night, So there we go, the blades are changed. I'm sweating a lot, the glasses aren't even keeping the hair back. Holy cow, forgot how hot it's been. But with the blades replaced, took maybe about 15, 20 minutes or so, including the kind of hosing it off. And that's not bad, a little bit longer than a normal mower, but not bad for every uh, three months. And I'm cutting Bermuda, partially cut a hose. Oops, I have the safety stuff turned on now and it's been mowing almost every freaking day. So that saves me on growth regulation costs, all that fun stuff and uh, keeps things looking awesome. And they're only gonna get better with this fresh set of blades. So there we go, some basic maintenance on the Luba, cleaning it off with water, showing you not where to spray and then how to change the blades out. And I have enough for five more changes and going on three months, that'll last me well through next year. So not bad at all, not bad. Anyway, it's Mike, real low dad. 
check out the link in the description if you want to protect yourself make sure no one's stealing your stuff so you can continue to enjoy fun times while a robot mows your lawn anyway again thanks aura thank you mr robot and we'll see you next time Whew, it's hot